So I wanted to uh, help you out with the Starship Enterprise problem, um, where the Starship Enterprise drops out of warp with a speed of 50 kilometers per second, only to find a Klingon ship 100 kilometers directly ahead, traveling in the same direction at 20 kilometers per second, without um, slowing down the Enterprise is going to collide with the Klingons. So we got to see what we can find out here. Um, I would possibly start with a velocity time graph for the Enterprise. I'll write E for Enterprise, velocity time. Right. Enterprise starts with a velocity of 50. I should write my units kilometers per second. Okay. T is in seconds. And the final velocity of the enterprise is going to be 20 kilometers per second. And that's because if the enterprise is going the same speed as the Klingon, then it's not going to overtake them anymore. It's just going to maintain the same distance from them. So in theory, we don't we don't know how much time it's going to take. Um, a lot of people try to use the time given, the 3.33 seconds, but that time refers to if you weren't slowing down. And if you aren't slowing down, it says the Enterprise is going to collide with the Klingons in three and a third seconds. Well, now you're slowing down. So that time to collide would change every moment as you're slowing down more and more until that time actually becomes zero because you hopefully don't collide. Um, anyway, so that's the hard part about the problem. That got me. And now, once you have your, your velocity time graph, you probably would uh, want to make an acceleration time graph just I don't think it's really helpful in this problem, but I might as well. Um, so your acceleration time graph is going to look like this, right? But we have no idea what the acceleration is. Um, I guess it would be measured in kilometers per second per second. But again, we only know what the graph should look like. This four along the line. We don't have any information about acceleration. So it's not going to help us here. Um, we could set up our equation um, as the area of this trapezoid right here. So I'll use a trapezoid area equation. Right? Um, so this side is 20. This side is 50. This side is 50. So we've got the average of the velocity times the time. And we do know we do know that we have 100 kilometers between the Enterprise and the Klingon ship, but that's not going to be that displacement. Um, I'm just going to write how far Enterprise. going to be uh, one half 50 plus 20 times k, right? And I'm going to do another graph for the Klingon ship. Klingon ship is a simpler motion, and it's kilometers per hour. Time is measured in hours. The Klingon ship looks like it's just going 20 kilometers per hour, right? So let's say 20 there. And again, we don't know T. We don't know the time it takes the enterprise to slow down. So, but we do know in time T, the Klingon ship is going to travel 20 T. So I'll write this as how far Klingon ship, how do I spell Klingon? K L Klingon ship, as a K, travels, all right? 
And I suppose now we would need some wonderful logic so that we can relate how far the Klingon ship travels with how far the Enterprise travels. Um, now, I, I, yeah, I always have to think about it for a while. If, uh, if they both travel the same distance in time t, so if both ships were to travel, these are the kinds of things I think about in order to figure it out. In, uh, the same distance in time t, then <laughs> no crash, <laughs> right? They just maintain their 100 meter distance part, right? Um, now, if the Enterprise travels 100 meters further than the Klingons, so if Enterprise travels 100 meters further, then um, Klingon then <laughs> barely no crash. That's what we want. Um, so let's try to set this up. Uh, Klingons would go 20T, right? And so this is how far Klingons travel. Plus um, the gap between the Klingon ship and the Enterprise is 100 uh, kilometers. 100 meters, 100 kilometers, and so this is the gap, the distance apart, and that has to equal the distance the Enterprise goes. So the Enterprise has to actually go farther in the same time t to barely not hit the Klingons here, okay? We got one half fifty plus twenty t, and this is the from before. This is the distance enterprise travels, right? Um, so as I uh, rearrange this equation and solve, we got. 20 T plus 100 equals half of 70 is 35 T. That looks about right. Okay. And subtract 20 from both sides. I just I get 15 T equals 100. Right? And then I'm going to divide both sides by 15. And I get a T of equal to. Uh, 100 over 15 is about 6.67. Now, to check units, um, 100 was measured in kilometers, and 15 uh, would have to be measured in kilometers per second, right? And that puts this time in seconds. Um, yeah, this is kilometers per second times seconds to get kilometers. This is kilometers, and this is kilometers per second times seconds. So the units are consistent everywhere. Um, so let's try to make sense of what is we found. I'm thinking that 6.67 or 6.7 seconds roughly after the enterprise starts slowing down. Um, we're going to see that that's about how much time before they're barely not crash, right? And I can check this. Um, I can fig I can plug this time in um, to each distance equation I got, 
and you'll, you should see that the, the Klingons are going to go about uh, 133 and a third kilometers. That's just by doing um, their velocity times the time, right? So that's the area of their velocity graph. So they're going 20 kilometers per second times 6.7 seconds roughly, all right? And if we do the same thing for the enterprise, but the equation is a little more complicated, you'll find that the enterprise is, is uh, it's, what's that distance travel? It's one half. 70 times t, is that right? So, one half 70 t and then t is 6.7 seconds, right? And you should get a number about 100 greater because the enterprise has to travel 100 kilometers further. Um, and you should probably do a number line, right? And show what, we, what is we found. If zero is where, so this is the location of enterprise when they start going down, right? And then the Klingons were 100, right, so they were over here at that time, okay? And then where the collision almost happens at 6.7 seconds is going to be way out here. And what is it, 233 and a third, so 233. Third, this is these are positions in kilometers. So this is where they almost crash, and this is uh, where Klingons are at zero seconds. So I'm just using a number line to kind of map out what happened here. Um, anyway, that's about it. I, I could um, give you a, an idea here. If you draw a velocity graph and instead you think about this velocity as how much faster enterprise is moving compared to Klingon. It's actually you're doing relativity. And this problem becomes really easy. <laughs> it's cool. I mean, there, there you are. The, the, the enterprise starts 30 uh, kilometers per second faster and then gradually goes down to zero kilometers per second faster than the Klingon ship. And if I just look at this amount there, since I'm comparing the Enterprise with the Klingon ship, that's the 100 kilometer distance they are apart at time zero. And I can just solve for T this way. 100 is going to equal 30 T. So T is going to be 100 what is it, uh, kilometers divided by 30 kilometers per second, and I get the same 6.7 seconds. So that's kind of an elegant Einsteinian way of doing a problem. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.